Hello friends, my name is Alex and I'm from Education Galaxy. Today we will look at understanding division. And for today's adventure, we will be traveling to Mathtopia Elementary School's second grade class with Mrs. Watson. Oh, hello, I'm Mrs. Watson. Today we will be learning about division. You actually use division all the time, even though you don't realize it. It begins with something you learned when you were in preschool. Sharing. Remember when you were a little kid and the teacher was handing out candy? She needed to be fair and hand out the candy evenly. That means each student would need to get the same number of pieces of candy. For example, if there are four students and the teacher has 24 pieces of candy, she gives each student a piece of candy. When each student has one, she continues until she has used up all of her candy and each student has the same number of candy. When we do that, we are calculating 24 divided by 4. And since it results in each student getting 6 pieces of candy, the answer is 6. Let's try some practice problems. If the same number of bees fly into each beehive, how many bees will be in each beehive? Let's split up each bee into a beehive. We want to make sure we're splitting them up evenly. The division problem would look like 15 divided by 3. That equals 5 since there are 5 bees in each beehive. Let's try another. If each of the pandas eats the same number of bamboo sticks, how many bamboo sticks will each panda eat? Well, since there are 12 sticks of bamboo and 2 pandas, that would be 12 divided by 2. What answer do you get? That's right, 6, since each panda gets 6 bamboo sticks. We have time for one more problem. If the same number of ducks swim in each pond, how many ducks will be in each pond? Well, there are 10 ducks and five ponds. If we divide them up, we get 10 divided by five. What answer is that? Way to go, the answer is two. There's the bell. Time for my next class. Hope you enjoyed learning about division. Have a great day. Great job! And now you understand division too. Good luck on your practice problems!